I am ready. Hi kids, I'm Miss Sherry, and I'm glad to bring you a message from the Bible today. But first, I'm sitting here with my backpack full of clothes, a cooler full of food, a really nice tent, and the perfect camping spot. What do you suppose I'm here to do? Did I give it away when I said camping spot? That's right, I could be camping. Camping can be a lot of fun, but it takes a lot of preparation, and it might not always seem like it. Your mom and dad might just say, hey, let's go camping, and you hop in the car and go. But somebody has taken the time to fill the backpack full of clothes, to fill the cooler full of food, to clean the tent, and to reserve the perfect camping site. Without all that preparation, camping could be a real disaster. Well, we're going to have a lesson in the story today that tells us why we need to be prepared. So, this is from the book of John, chapter 20, verses 19 through 22. Jesus appears to his disciples. On the evening of that first day of the week, the disciples were together. They had locked the doors because they were afraid of the Jews. Jesus came, and came in and stood among them. He said, May peace be with you. Then he showed them his hands and his side. They were so happy when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, May peace be with you. The Father has sent me, so now I am sending you. He then breathed on them. He said, Receive the Holy Spirit. So Jesus says that the Father sent Jesus, and now Jesus was sending the disciples. How did the disciples get ready to be sent? They actually lived with Jesus. They lived with him. They saw him do miracles. They heard about our, the Father's love and how much he loves us. He loves us so much that he sent Jesus to die for our sins so that if we believe in him, we can have everlasting life. Well, when Jesus says, now I am sending you, he's talking to his followers. But today, we are his followers. So what sort of things do we need to do to prepare to spread Jesus' love. One of the things that we need to do is read the Bible. It's the Holy Word of God, and that is where we learn about God's love for us, about how God created us, God created everything, about how Jesus came, sacrificed his life to be our, to be our Savior, how each of the disciples had a relationship with Jesus, and we want to have a relationship with Jesus. Another way that we prepare is similar to what Jesus did. Jesus prayed to the Father all the time. So the verse that we read was actually after Jesus had been crucified and had come back. But just in John 17, Jesus is praying. And what he says, They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to it. Use the truth to make them holy. Your word is the truth. You sent me into the world in the same way I have sent them into the world. So Jesus right there says God's word is the truth. The word that we find in the Bible, the word that Jesus gave us. The disciples were actually living the New Testament um, while Jesus was with them. And the more that we know Jesus the more we can share his message with everyone that we meet. I hope this weekend, this week, there's some fun things that you can prepare for. I would love to hear about them. Um, feel free to contact me or Miss Amy if there's anything we can do for you. Check out the Family 10K Devo in the One Family page. Um, and now, please pray with me. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus into the world so that we could have forgiveness. Thank you that Jesus came willingly, that Jesus taught the disciples, and the disciples have left a record 
in the Bible, your holy word, so that we can know more about you and more about Jesus, be in a relationship with you because of our salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all very much. Have a terrific week.